Hi everybody, this is Annika and this week's topic is how do you write and perform your own spells? So the first step is to figure out what it is that you want to attract into your life and deciding whether you really have the energy to dedicate to that. For me, I consider spells as um, a kind of psychological tool for focusing your mind on the things that you need to achieve. So say for example, um, you, wanted to, to, you wanted to create a spell for attracting more money into your life because you need more money, then you've got to sit down and think about the, the practicalities of this spell. I mean, where is this money going to come to come from? How are you going to get this into your life? Don't have your mind set on one particular way that you think the spell is going to work out. Think of multiple possibilities as to how it might work and uh, you've got to be really open-minded to the different possibilities of how it's going to happen. So for example, I wouldn't sit there and think, right, I need to attract more money into my life so I'll do a spell to win the lottery because I don't, I don't think that is the way to go about it, to just say I want this one particular thing to happen. Um, you've got to be more open to what it is that is available in the universe to come your way. So maybe winning the lottery is one of the possibilities but there are a lot more possibilities out there that would be a lot more likely than winning the lottery. So a more likely possibility than winning the lottery is that your money is going to come from decreasing your spending habits. So that might be a thing that you want to focus on in your spell work. Always think about the practicalities of your magic and be open to the possibilities. So the next thing you've got to do is believe in yourself. Believe in your own strength to really pull this off. You're going to need serious willpower, that's what generates magic, it's all about your willpower and staying focused on your goals and that's why you're casting a spell, it's in order to program your mind to stay focused on these goals. So next you're going to think about how are you going to program your mind, what tools can you use to focus your mind on your goals. So when you look at a pentagram, think about the five senses of taste, touch, smell, sight and sound. These are all tools that you can use in your spell. Say if for example you're doing a spell for money, then you sit and you think about, okay, what scents do I associate with money? What visual cues do I associate with money? What tastes do I associate with money? Etc, etc. And think about how you can incorporate different senses into your spell. I tend to distinguish between high magic and low magic. So high magic is uh, what you do when you cast the circle, when you invoke the gods. And low magic is what you do for just practical everyday kind of things. So I don't um, think that when, it, when you're performing low magic that you need to be overly ceremonial about it and um, you can just have little rituals. So a little spell could just be sitting and thinking for a moment and maybe saying a little rhyme of some kind. It's often useful to have some kind of words or like a mantra or something that you say and uh, maybe lighting some incense or something depending on the different um, things that you're incorporating in your spell. But it could just be as simple as tying a ribbon around your wrist and saying to yourself this is in order to focus my mind on spending less and as long as I'm wearing this I will be frugal with my money and I will save up and that's how I will achieve my goal. So those are my thoughts on practical magic and simple spell work. Let me know what you think, leave a comment below and I'll see you next week. Bye!